so it's another night. Or actually, I think this is one of my first nights coming out here in a while because I've been super busy with LA trips. And I have to do another one next Sunday. But anyways, I'm here. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys, but Urban really did put a lot of work on masking off the AC lines, the brake lines. And I salute him for that. Thank you, Urban. <laughs> Same with the brake booster right there. And what we're gonna do right, or what I'm doing right now, he's trying to, oh, looks like he already got it off. <laughs> he got off the wiper motor and I'm over here sanding down the whole engine bay. Just just gonna scuff it up for now. And then tomorrow we're gonna, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna actually paint it with, what did you say it is? Honda Championship White? <laughs> Oh, it's a pearl? Yeah. Oh! I told you it was a pearl. <laughs> Here's a Honda. It's like the pearl from the Odyssey. Here, let me white see. White diamond. Wow, fancy. So, white diamond. It is. Focus. Focus. There we go. NH63P white diamond. And he got like a crap ton of them up 80 -ish there. 80 ish cans. 80 ish cans. He got them from Rock Auto when they were like giving these for like... They were like two bucks each. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. In case your brother wants to paint his um, red Civic again, right? Oh, that's gone. No, what happened yeah. to it? He got stolen. <laughs> and then they found it in... I think all they took was a battery. And the, the threat tow yard wanted like 200 bucks or something to get it out. And he's like, nah, just keep it. Wow! So he, he had went and bought another car. This this is the same brother with the TC, right? No, no, no. Oh, different one. That's my older brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, anyways, long story short, he his brother had like a body kit Civic, which was really nasty, and he was a nice brother and bought him OEM tail lights, headlights, fenders, and bumpers, and painted that car in his driveway. <laughs> With like nothing but rattle cans and it turned out okay for what it was. I'll send you some pics. <laughs> Put it in Please do. I like to show the people. But, yeah, he's put in a lot of work since I haven't been showing up because I made some SoCal trips. I sold the White Tsunami already. You guys already saw that video. Guys, super happy with the purchase. And while I was down there, I actually sold the Blue Tsunami to Mark, which is Rafa's best friend, brother, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> So I got to go down there again next Sunday to go drop that off. But I'm here. Um, I'm going to start sanding. This is going to be a boring video, guys. This isn't really going to be something fun to do. But it's just amazing. It's just going to be sanding and masking. And I mean, he's already removed the the old rack and pinion. We did, I did buy another one. So, And he did suggest to buy a sway bar. But I'm still on the... I don't know, it's kind of pricey, but at the same time, um, yeah, you're gonna, it, it's, it's deep in there. If, if you're gonna want to replace it in the future, you're gonna have to unbolt the, the steering rack, you're gonna have to drop oh that full sub frame. Because you see, there's no space to, even if you wanted to angle it. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Um, <laughs> it's, I'll, I'll sleep, I'll sleep with it overnight and see if I'll bite it, bite the bullet and just, order it but make sure you buy it dinner first <laughs> it's this project is definitely not cheap right now this is not a cheap project guys so if you guys are going to want to do something similar be ready to spend money i'm already in like at least eight grand with the car but then again i did over i did spend a lot more on the car because you guys know it came with the gt4 front end you know i could have went around i could have looked and bought one for like 600 bucks a regular gt with like a knock knocking engine but 
you know this this showed up it saves me all the time from getting the stuff and it's actually really good condition so anyways i'm gonna stop talking a lot of you hate it when i talk a lot and i'm gonna get to work so took a quick break Irvin went to go to autozone because we are we were, we started sanding over here and we got a little bit of exposure to the metal so we need to primer that me exposed metal but you can see like all the primer right here from the from the body itself is starting to show a lot more now that we start sanding um sandpaper wasn't really all that great but these scotch bright pads like these things are really great um we bought them i bought them at home depot they're the they're the moderate stripping pads they have another one that's a lot um, thicker or a lot more coarse and it has more um, sanding to it a material or it, i guess it's more abrasive that's the word i was trying to look for but there's just these pads um it's like a literally feels like a sponge <laughs> so it, it's doing a really good job tackling the areas the small areas that we don't we couldn't get to with the sandpaper so sandpaper is not really doing that much right now so i'm just using the the scotch bright pad and gonna report with you guys later so we got the whole engine bay masked and prepped for paint while well, i'm gonna throw some primer on the exposed areas a couple over here some over here over there where the old um engine diagram was at so pretty sure i showed you guys this 3m stuff that i got from home depot it's actually really good we're able to cover majority of the area got everything taped up got to look this way and time for paint primer <laughs> it's a windy day so we decided to build a crib a baby crib for the Celica engine bay Mexican me mosquito nest <laughs> Mexican mosquito nest uh, yeah it's been really windy and I don't want like dirt getting in there so it's gonna be hopefully good got some paint right there To my own horn but damn this thing came out really good um it is very windy today so we had to build this um enclosure for the hood to be painted or the engine bay i should say but it turned out really good <laughs> like i'm happy with it i'm happy it's not um show car status but it is glossy and even though, you know, like engine bays aren't supposed to be glossy if you think about it or if you look at your regular engine bay. But I was just like, you know, I, I don't want it to get stained. So I'm just going to, oof, look at the runs down there. Whoops. It's all good. Not too concerned about that. It's like the least of my worries right now because it's just the engine bay. No one's going to really care much about it. But damn. I do start seeing a lot of runs, but I mean, it is what it is. Buy this as you sold. Cleaning up the engine bay.
So I just sold the 5SFE, finally gone, out of the garage. And I just finished painting and removing the tape. <laughs> oh no, never mind. I still have over there left. But that's a little bit, so I should probably take it off right now. Um, I finished painting the radiator support. Um, we weren't sure if this is shown. I think he said it, does, it doesn't show, but I just painted it just for shits and giggles. Um, I did touch up the firewall. And it's, it's fine in my book. So I just also removed all the tape. Like, you can see the, let me see if I can get up close to it. They did that last time. 